Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you this uh, new tool that I found online, which is called Live Charts. Um, it, it's pretty cool how it works, it's fairly simple and it's a bit more efficient, uh, has more features than the current charts uh, in Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll, on, this, on this tutorial, I'll just show you how to use, create a, like a simple bar chart. So let's go ahead and get started and create a, a Windows Form application on Visual Studio. Now, once you're here, um, go ahead and click Tools up here and click New Get Package Manager and then Manage Manage New Get Packages for Solution and select the browse option and type live charts so make sure you select the one that says live charts dot win forms and go ahead and uh click install select the version and go ahead and click install wait a few seconds until it, it installs on your project all right, so now let's go ahead and add the reference to the project. So I'll go ahead and uh, click open up your Solution Explorer. I have mine up here. Right click on References, add a reference. Now go to the uh, go to the pat where the project installed. So I have mine here, so I'm going to ahead and click Live Charts Wins dot forms one forms dot dll so i'm going to go ahead and add that dll to my project oops oh i'm sorry all right let me go back find my project first because i don't know where my project is let's see what my project is okay so let me go back and browse click add reference browse and now I'm going to go where my project is. All right, so there should be a packages folder there. Go ahead and double click on that. Click on the Win Forms portion of it. Glib, and you can choose either one of them. I go with the 4.0. And go ahead and click OK. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like it's already here, so I don't have to do this. So, yeah. Yeah, see it's already here. So I guess when I when I do the the install, I already added to my <clears throat> references. So all right, next step is to add. Uh, let's see if it's here. Uh, yeah, next let next step is to I'll go ahead and delete. Next step is to add to your to your toolbox. So let's go ahead and open up toolbox up here. This is how I open up my toolbox. Right click on your toolbox, click choose items. Wait until this loads. Go ahead and click Browse. So we're going to select that same DLL that we previously selected for the references. Go ahead and click OK and OK. Give it a second. It's going to load. Now we are all ready to go. So the first step is let's go ahead and add. Let's do a search for Cartesian, Cartesian chart. So let's go ahead and drop that chart on your screen. Make it bigger if you want to. Yeah, don't worry about the lines. The lines uh, is just a display, default display of uh, the Cartesian chart. Go ahead and double click on your form. So if you go to my to, to software now website, you can get the click on the blog. You can get the the source code for this project. So you scroll down to the bottom. So the first step when coding for this is to create a class. To create a class, to create a class called, uh, wait, hold on. There's a way to copy here. To create a class called users. So, because we're gonna create a list of users to load, to load the chart. All right. So, oops, copy the wrong stuff. Let's go back to my website. Copy. All right. Go back to the code. There you go. So this class has to be 
on the same namespace, well, I guess you can do however you like to. But I like just to, for demonstration purposes so we, you see the, everything on the screen. I'm putting chart, I'm putting the user class on the same class, on the same uh, namespace here. Now, once I create, once I have a class of users, now I need a, I need a, a list of users with data to load the chart. So once again, go back to the blog, to our blog. Now, copy the second part of the code here, which is the, the creation of the list of users. Now you can paste this on this class, on the partial class form one. Now this is a list of users. As you can see, I hard coded some names, login information, age, date of birth, and the score. Okay. Now that we have users and a list of users, we need a function to load the data into the chart. So let's go ahead and go back to our blog. Now you, you just make sure you copy this low chart function here. I'll go through line by line explaining what each thing does. Let's go back to our code. Paste it here. Oops, I uh, got kind of screwed up a little bit. Right, let's fix it. All right, so it looks good. Uh, make sure when you see the squiggly lines, right click on the light bulb here and click using live charts on the first one, on the second one here. Just give it a second. Let's see what's going on here. And then click live charts also. All right. All right, we should have all the references for this project after you add them. So, all right. So the slow charge function, what it does is it pulls the user, the users, all the users that we created with this list, okay? And in order to, in order to, to, to plot the values and the bar chart, we need, uh, we need, uh, we need a chart values double. It's like a list of doubles specific to this project and also a list of string this is going to contain the labels so this is for the values for example this is for the values and this is for the labels and i'm going to loop the user list to add to add the values to the list of to the chart values and i'm going to create the labels the same thing by adding the labels to the labels uh, list okay so this portion of the code here, it's where we create a series to display age of the user. So we're going to be displaying the bar chart is going to be displaying the ages. So we got to create a column series with a title, which is going to say age values, which is the same one as the, the chart values uh, 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 array here. Data labels, it's uh, once the chart is created, it's going to display the like the the value of the bar on top of it. And this is pretty much just the fill. It's pretty much the color of the bar. Okay. Now I'm going to create the label for the Y for the X axis. So, so the title, I put the title as users and the labels, we created a list of labels here and the unit, uh, let's remove the unit. We don't need this by for now. All right. And here we're creating the x, the y axis label. So it's pretty much the label that goes on the left side of the bar on the chart. And here's the format. You can format however you want. I just want a regular format. And I'm going to title it age. Go ahead and add the load chart to your form load. And let's take for a spin. All right, so as you can see here, we have our data, our names. If you hover over the each bar, it's going to give you more details. For example, John age 45, Jay age 25, Brian age 20. So this is what we're building here. All right, so that's it for today. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, and I'm glad to have